Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to come up with some kind of a birthday card for my fiance. I'm a couple of days late already giving it to him, so I really need to get started and get to making one. I find that making manly birthday cards is just so hard, so I thought I would share my process and I hope it inspires you to create a birthday card for the man in your life. All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with my scoreboard here and a sheet of eight and a half by 11, 110 pound cardstock. Um, I am going to score this on the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter. And this is going to be my card base. So I'm gonna go ahead and score that. Go ahead and fold it. I'm gonna use my other bone folder to make sure that's burnished. Now I'm gonna take my cutting, uh, what is this called? My paper cutter. And I'm going to cut this at five and a half inches. And I should get two cards that measure five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm gonna save one for another time, so I'm just gonna put that one into a drawer. Um, and we're just gonna make one today. So I got my card base. Now I need to throw in some layering pieces. So I have two pieces of scrap paper, or yeah, two pieces of scrap paper. You could use one regular sheet of uh, cardstock. This is 65 pound weight. And I'm just gonna throw in a mat onto that. So I'm gonna cut this at four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So it's a little shorter than my card base. So I need two pieces, one for the inside, one for the outside. All right. So that's what I got here, and this is how it's gonna go. So it's gonna leave a nice black border on the card. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that to the top using my ATG tape, and I will have this link down below. If you guys watch my videos, you guys know that I always use my ATG for card making. I don't know why, it's just how I always do things, always using my ATG for that. This is, there we go. It's working a little smoother now. No. Sometimes things get stuck and I don't know why. Oh my goodness. Like, okay, you guys help me troubleshoot. It always gets stuck at the top here and I don't understand it. I mean, it's only been doing, been doing that lately or it does it from time to time, but most of the time, it's good to me. All right, so I'm gonna unfold this just so I can make sure to get this nice and straight with an even border all around. All right, so I got that and I'm gonna do the inside piece as well, which is just my other second piece of white cardstock. No. Stop doing that. Oh my goodness. If you guys know how to troubleshoot, let me know. I'm still fairly new to the ATG, but I still love it. It's doing it again. Why? Why you do this to me? Please cooperate here. Like I only use it once in a while and then I don't know how to troubleshoot guys. I'm not a card baker all the time. I mostly make albums. But I do have plenty of cards in my Etsy shop as well. All right, so there's that. We got the inside, we got the outside. All right, so for the outside of my card, let's find some kind of patterned paper. I have like an idea, like an inspiration from Pinterest that I have in my head. So I will have that uh, inspiration post linked down below. But let's see. Oh. 
Oh, I like I like some of these. And all right, so I'm gonna take that out. And I don't know which other piece of paper do we want. Maybe this one. Is there another one like that? I mean, I kind of like this one too. But Babe's not like a woodsy person, even though I like this one. So I was originally thinking this blue one, but let's see, because I really kind of like this piece now, this little cut apart. And that'll be somewhere at the top. So let me just cut that piece out. I don't even know what size like I want these things to be. I think they're gonna have to be smaller though. All right, so just one cut apart. And this is what I was thinking. Yeah, it definitely has to be smaller. They're gonna have to be on like an angle. So these measure two by two. Let's see if I could cut them down to one and a half. So we got a one and a half inch square here. I think that's fitting much better. And we gotta make some kind of a pattern. I mean, I was thinking they would go like this. Um, let's, let's try it. We'll cut up a bunch of one and a half inch squares here. So let me cut this at one and a half. this up here and all right I mean we could we have to cut some of these but if this goes like that and we'll just kind of continue with this pattern and then I'll put like a happy birthday down here all right that could work I probably should have um, cut these pieces later after the paper matting Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut another piece. So if you're doing this, don't cut your matting layer until you mat the cardstock to it. So I'm just cutting another piece of white cardstock, four and one eighth by five and three eighths, making sure it's the same size so I could stick it on after again. Yeah. All right. So... Here's what we're gonna do. Actually, I kind of want a white border also, so I'm wondering if I should cut this a little smaller, like instead of four and one eighth, let's cut this by four. And instead of five and three eighths, we'll cut this at five and a quarter. That way, yeah, that we could still have a white border as well. All right, so we're just gonna, uh, I don't know, just start throwing things down here. Uh, all right, I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. Hopefully it turns out good. Is this stuck or something? All right, so I do kind of want to get this like corners like lined up here. Maybe let's move it over here. All right, and we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna leave like a little border space here and keep 
throwing on the rest. And I don't want to keep gluing on here, so let me get my cutting mat, my cutting gluing mat, because I'd rather get that than other stuff. So, all right, let's glue this one. And I'm just leaving a little bit of a white space in between. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these pieces off because we could still use these on the rest of our card and we don't need this overhang. So I only cut off a few, but there's still some glue on here, which I could now stick here. That fills in that space. And this one could, I mean, I don't want to fill in that, but this one, like this. So then we'll go here and that fills in that space and I'm leaving the rest uh, blank. Like I'm not filling in all the corners here. Like I don't want to cover the whole card is I guess what I'm saying. All right, I have one more corner that I could reuse here. And we're going to throw this guy right here. Oh, that's nice. This one will have a little bit of brown here to kind of blend that in together. That looks good. Didn't even realize it was brown at first, but it works. And then this corner right here. All right, so here's we got what we got for the card here. Um, I think that's good because I'm not filling in these blank areas and then I'm gonna need to find a die cut so let me just clean up a little bit here and I'll be right back all right guys I had intended to cut out just the word happy but apparently I only have this die that says happy birthday I don't just have a happy um I guess I could cut them apart if I really want to and then still stamp birthday you know what maybe we'll do that so <laughs> Why don't I have a, just a happy stamp? I don't know. Or happy die. And I was going to die cut, not die cut, stamp the word birthday. Anyway, I got this copper foil paper from Michaels. I love their foiled paper. Just cutting out a piece here so that I can die cut this out. So I'm going to put this word happy birthday on here. Gonna cover that with another plate and we're gonna run this through here. I do also have my Big Shot Switch Plus that I use most of the time, but for the purpose of this video, because I don't have like an outlet like right here, I'm using this one. Ooh, that worked out really nicely. So we got the word, or we got the words, happy birthday here. All right, just getting out all those little pieces, but I actually think I just want the happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest off and it's gonna be fantastic anyway. So there you go. There's multiple uses for your dies. There's an A. They're all separate now. Okay, we'll just have to figure out how they went. Because I like how it was um, attached. I like how they were different heights. So we'll still have to do that. And I could use this as a guide. So, Or do I want this? Maybe like right here? And I'm gonna go ahead and glue these. Wait, wait, wait. My H is not perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down onto my card. Um, I think 
that's straight-ish. So I'm going to use that negative space to glue down my letters. I just want to make sure they stay. Okay, then this P is supposed to be higher than the other P. I mean, you could use that as a guide. I mean, you don't have to. Now I'm just kind of looking at it because that was too annoying for me. So I'm just looking at it and then doing my own thing. All right, and then this one like that. All right, so we got the word happy and I wanna stamp the word birthday down here. Okay, so I have this stamp that says happy birthday. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, wait, I need a stamping block. Let's hope I don't mess this up guys because I don't stamp. I'm not a stamper, you'll like, this is like the first time in what ever that you're seeing me stamp on my channel here. <laughs> okay, so I'm sticking the word happy birthday onto there. Um, I just need the word birthday though and not the happy, so wish me luck guys. Um, I'm gonna stamp that so I get it covered and hopefully that's good. I also got ink all over the place. And then, I don't know what I'm doing, but I gotta not stamp the part that says happy. So I'm putting some tape over it. Hopefully that's fine. And I'm gonna stamp the word birthday. And hopefully this works. All right, we got the word happy birthday. Okay, now I feel like this card needs something else though, and I don't know what. What can I, I feel like it needs something else on here. Maybe we could add some kind of a, I don't know, ribbon, not ribbon, but like um, twine or something. I don't know, what do you add to this? Okay, I have some chipboard. I don't know, this is from some kind of Hey Mr. chipboard collection. And let's see if I can just stick some of these down. Maybe find a use for them. Um, I want something in this corner here. So let's see, uh, maybe just some stars up there. We could use like a craft star. Okay, so maybe we could throw this guy up here and maybe the copper star as well. Like these have a sticky back, but they don't because that just keeps coming off. Um, hmm, maybe something like that, but now I kind of feel like instead of this craft color, maybe let's do the black. Okay, this one actually works with the sticky. Okay, I like that better. So I'm gonna go ahead Oh, I probably should have waited to stick these down. All right, well, I'm gonna go for it anyway. And I probably should have waited so that I can mat this card down onto the base first. I got glue all over the star. All right, should this one go here or should it go here? I think I like it better down here. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this. And, oh, maybe we could even throw in this arrow here. That looks cute down there. Might as well just stick all the things down. How cute is that? That turned out really good. Nice, simple, easy peasy card. I mean, easy, but not easy at the same time. All right, and now I could stick this down onto here. Doesn't that look good, guys? I think that looks really good. So, normally I use this. Let's try it. We could try it at least. Hopefully this works, even though I have chipboard layers on here now. Okay, that's working. Okay. And I'm going to get the white border around it. I do want to hold on to that white border still because it looks nice. And stick down the rest of my card. That turned out really cute, guys. And I like this. Time waits for nobody. Make now count. And here's the inside. And I could write my uh, greeting card message. Is there glue on there? Yes, it looks like there's glue on there. Luckily, that's like a shiny paper, so it comes off. Perfect. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? Was this easy enough? I hope you guys give it a try. Hope it inspires you because, like I said, I think manly cards are just so hard to make. So let me know what you think. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.